We have reached the final episode of Vampire Month. In the last month, we have talked about Nosferatu, Bram Stoker's Dracula, The Hunger, The Lost Boys, What We Do in the Shadows, From Dust Till Dawn, and tonight, Matt Bettinelli Open and Tyler Gillett's Abigail, a movie that was released this year. Okay. Put it the fuck down. Sammy, little help would be nice. Don't pull Sammy in. We need this. to know what she Just knows. Just let me fucking talk to her. No, 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 no. Peter? I'll talk to her. Guys. Put it down, or you can die right fucking now. Guys, come Don't on. Don't fucking try me. Guys! Sammy, yes. shut the fuck up! What the fuck? How the fuck she get out of those cuffs? Abigail's a pretty interesting cast. Melissa Barrera, Dan Stevens, Catherine Newton, Will Catlett, Angus Cloud, Giancarlo Esposito, and the young Irish actress Alicia Weir as Abigail. The film's directors, the writers Stephen Shields and Guy Busick, and at least James Vanderbilt and Chad Valilla of the film's producers come out of the Scream franchise. Matt Bettinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillett directed both the 2022 Scream and 2023 Scream 6 as well as the movie Ready or Not, all of which were co-written by Guy Busick as well. In both Scream and Scream 6, Melissa Barrera plays Sam Carpenter. Sherry, Mario? Thank you, I never drink wine. Originally, Abigail was envisioned as a remake of Universal Pictures' 1936 sequel to Dracula, Dracula's Daughter, which itself was an attempt to adapt a tossed chapter of Bram Stoker's Dracula. As Universal Pictures tries to return to the success of their 1930s monster films, they wanted Matt and Tyler's film collective, Radio Silence Productions, to create something. In the end, they wisely decided not to mention Dracula and to have the film stand on its own. I always hated this room. My father turned me in here. A lot of painful memories. In Abigail, a team of six shady operators and criminals are hired to kidnap a girl. They are not told who the father is, but that he will be willing to pay $50 million for his daughter's ransom. After bringing her to a remote manor, it's slowly established that they've kidnapped the daughter of a powerful, almost mythical crime boss, and they've either been set up or contracted for a far riskier mission than anyone told them about. Joey? Yeah. I'm sorry about what's going to happen to you. The manner in which the bulk of the movie takes place is actually Arthur Guinness's Glen Maroon house in Dublin. The powerful Beer family abandoned their Dublin estates after World War I when it was revealed that they had given money to the British during the Irish War of Independence. The disrepaired manor that was first in the hands of the Irish state after Arthur Guinness' death and then was handed off to the Daughters of Charity who added a chapel and turned it into a convent school is a perfect spot for a story about a centuries-old vampire in the guise of a 12-year-old girl, even if most of the decor was added as set dressing. I have to say I'm pretty impressed that Alicia Weir, who plays Abigail, is an Irish girl doing a flat-toned American accent. This movie is incredibly referential, and you can definitely see that the film comes from collaborators from the Scream franchise. All the classic vampire tropes, garlic, holy water, sunlight, are all used against her. No, I'm telling you, she's gonna see you coming. No, she debate is over. Decision made, okay? I got him! Sammy, those are fucking onions. Well, I don't cook, I don't know. The film dispenses with the religious god and the devil stuff we've come to expect from the world of vampires, although Abigail sits in judgment of her father's enemies and those who have betrayed their family. All in all, Abigail is an exceedingly gory vampire film that I will say falls into a subgenre which we really haven't seen this month, Trapped in the House with a Vampire. Somewhere between monster and slasher film, it ramps up the blood and guts beyond what we've seen over the rest of this theme month. In fact, 7,000 gallons of fake blood were used to make it happen. There's a thing about being a vampire, Frank. It takes a long fucking time to learn how to do all the cool shit. Oh, 